In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the publish command. The publish command is an awesome way to do batch plotting of multiple drawings. And it's also a great way to create a DWF set of your entire set of drawings. There's a couple of things that we want to check on before we execute the publish command. And the main thing is that if you're going to be plotting to a particular device as opposed to sending them to DWF, you need to make sure that you define the plot parameters for that device first. So let's go to the plot command. And here we see that currently the plotter is set to the Adobe PDF and the size is architectural E. And we've set all of our parameters the way that we would like to have them set. And the most important part is that we have named this setup. If you haven't named your page setup, all you have to do is as you come through here and you set everything the way that you would like to have it, you select your printer or your plotter, you select your scale and all these other parameters, just simply come up here and click the add button and give it a name. And once you have a name assigned to all the settings that you would like to plot to, we can access those settings through the publish command. And now I'm going to execute the publish command. The publish command is found in the output tab. It's also found in our menu browser. If we go to the file menu and down just below plot we have publish. This brings up a publish dialog box and it lists three files in this in my case it has three files in here. The drawing that I'm in plus two additional unsaved drawing layout tabs from whenever I started my AutoCAD session, there was an unsaved drawing one, and it had two layout tabs. So any open drawing will be automatically added to this list. So I'm going to go ahead and select these two these two drawings, and I'm going to click on the little remove sheet minus sign up here icon, and it'll remove those sheets. Now also in my case, I'm only loading the layout tabs because of the checkbox down here. If this checkbox would have been marked for the model tab I would have some additional files here also representing the model space tab of all the drawings that were open. By default when you open AutoCAD both of those will probably be selected and most of the time whenever you plot you're only going to want to plot the layout tab. So if that's the case simply unselect the model tab and remove any model space drawings that are listed up here. Once you do that you're ready to add additional sheets and our browser window appears and we could select the drawings that we would like to plot or to add to the publish command. And I'm going to come through here and I'm going to select the A0's, the A1's and the A2's. Now this particular job has, a, has quite a few drawings and I, I could select all of those but to save time I'm just going to select those files right there. After I highlight them I'll tell it to select and those sheets are added to our sheet name set. Okay, One thing that you need to check is a lot of times it puts them out of order. For instance it put this sheet A02.06 the dark room at the top or just below the cover and I'm going to just simply drag it to the bottom. We want to make sure that our files are in order because whenever it publishes them this is the order that it will send them. So if we're sending them to the printer it will plot these in this order and if we're going to create a DWF file, this is the order that they're going, to be they're going to be in. You also have some buttons here to move certain sheets up or down. So if you select a sheet, you can select the move sheet up or the move sheet down button as well. Okay, it wants to know what we want to publish to. Okay, the first thing we need to do is we need to define the page setup. Now, if you look, you see that a lot of these are set to none. And our cover sheet, which is the drawing that we started in, is set to default E size. That's why it's important that in that first sheet that we open that we actually have a page setup named and labeled. So if I look I have several page setup files that I can choose from. For example if I want to batch plot all of these drawings to my HP 1050C plotter I can select it from here. To assign it to all of them what I need to do is I need to select all the files and then I need to pick that plotter and it assigns it to all the files. You may need to move 
the file that has the page setup that you want to the top before you do that. For example, if the page setup file that I needed was located in the fire plan, sheet A0.01, and I have all my files selected, when I pick on that page setup file, it deselects all of my files. So if that's the case, I would want to move it to the top, select all my files again, and then I can pick the file that I want. Okay, so now I have all my sheets and I have the page setup files selected that I'd like to plot to. And now I have two options. I can either publish it to the plotter named in the page setup and I would select this if I wanted to batch plot them to the actual plotter. Or if I want to create a DWF set, I can select this button right here. And I can tell it which format, DWF file or DWFX. And DWFX is kind of a new format that Autodesk is starting to develop. Currently, you're better off sticking to the DWF. Over here, we have our published controls. We can tell it how many copies. And this would be available to us if we were actually plotting to the plotter named in the setup, such as this. So if I want to send multiple copies, I could tell it how many copies I wanted to send. And I could also tell it how to collate them. I could tell it to plot in reverse order, or I could have it plotting in in uh, the normal order. Depending upon how your plotter outputs the drawings, you will want to set that so that it puts them in order and stacks them in a way to where you can just simply pick them up and roll them up and you don't have to go and collate them later. Since we're going to send this to a DWF file, that's not even an option for us. We can tell it to include the plot stamp if we would like. If we include the plot stamp, here's the button to where we can configure that. And we can tell it to publish in the background if we would like. Okay, if we look over here, we see that we have some publish options. If I click on that box, I get the dialog box to where we can decide where we would like to send the default file to. So whenever it publishes to DWF, where would it like to send the file? And right now it's set to be my in my documents. Again, we can pick the format here. We can decide if we want this to be a multi-sheet DWF file or a single sheet DWFs. I would recommend sending it to a multi-sheet file. We can decide if we want it to be password protected, and if so, we have a place to give the password. We can assign a name to this DWF file in this dialog box, or we can just have it prompt us for one whenever we create it. And here's another great thing about DWF. We can tell it to include the layers. So if, we share, if we're going to share this file with consultants or clients, they have the ability to turn layers on and off for printing or viewing purposes. We can include the block information as well. Autodesk will also publish 3D DWF files if this were a 3D drawing. So I'm going to tell it OK. Up here we have the option to save this sheet list. Or if we had already created the sheet list previously, we could have clicked right here to load the sheet list. And we have a preview option as well. I'm going to go ahead and unselect this publish in the background. That way I can kind of monitor how it's going as it does the publishing job. And then I just go ahead and tell it publish. This dialog box comes up and asks me to save the file. And I'm going to just call this State University. Tell it select. It wants to know if I want to save the current list of sheets so that I can load them later. And I'm going to tell it no. And it begins the publish job. When it's finished publishing, we can view the resulting DWF file. I've opened it in Autodesk Design Review. Now you can see all my sheets are here and I can scroll through them. And this is just a great format to share your drawings with other people. So that's how you use the publish command.